exactly weird. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Thursday Night Modern here at GameSwap Mason. They are your commentators for Top Deck Productions. My name is Luke Tees. And I'm Robert Paul Meadows. Robert Paul Meadows. Yeah, you know my initials fell out? RPM? Yeah, dude. Wow, I'm rotations cool? per minute, dude. I'm LTT. Lit. LTT. I'm lit. Uh, Grixis is good colors. Dude, we are I like black, red. Black, so, you know what Black Red X has? Moon Rat. Moon Rat, yeah. So, You're so right. this uh, favorite is t this matchup typically favored for Banned Spirits because mm. they they're the flying humans. Yeah, they're flying humans, yeah. Uh, not kind of having green is kind of meh because Decay, Maelstrom, Pulse, Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, but Grixis is still just super powerful. Hand Disruption. Hand Disruption is the best removal spell. Uh, both of Big Way. Uh, I will have some done as well. Black Red X is my favorite. If you can find one, Phil was on Shadow. I'd like to see it. Phil we used to play Shadow. Yeah. Dirty, dirty, dirty Phil. Hey, I'm on Shadow right now. I know, but Bofa Big Way is more fun to say. <laughs> Wait, what? He said you can just shorten it to Bofe, but it's if if that's easier. But Bofe Big Way is more fun to Bofe say. Bofe It's more fun to say. Um, so fetch shock and probably get in the breeding pool to play this yeah. Mister Mouse um, Spirit Judges Familiar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> except it's better. Or uh, also Spirit. Um, oh no! Wait, that that that, like, that counts non-creature spells. I was thinking Curse Catcher. Who wins? Lump Lump, that's too dated for the replay reel, but I can yeah. post link to chat in it. So, um... We need to get more replays on. We need more replays of me. We need, we need more ti uh, taking turns on the replays. Well, you need to play more... You actually I do need to play more taking turns. I need to play more. I don't, like, I commentate. I don't, I don't think I've played here I know, I mean, in, like, two weeks. You can't cover the topo tomorrow. You got plans. Yeah, I got plans tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get lit. I'm gonna get lit. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a drill, and I'm just gonna start drilling holes <laughs> in their wall. And... I need to make sure I can get a drill for... I'll just steal a drill. My dad won't know this. Yeah. Just, can you give it back to me Monday? Yeah, I can get it back to you. All right, yeah. Yeah, so I'm stealing a drill from my dad to give it to Luke. Yeah, <laughs> I have to fix a hole in drywall, because people in my house are stupid and like to throw things. And like, don't worry, guys. I know how to do this. Yeah, no. They were like, we're, "We'll fix it," and I was like, "No, you. I've seen how you guys like. They've attempted to fix it in the past, and I literally was like, this is and bad. Take I'm gonna three. fix. I'm gonna fix your fix. Take three. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna goblin guide you, basically. That was he fun. just kicked a bushwhacker on him. On a goblin guide. That's what just happened. Oh, we're gonna mayor, dude. We're the aggro deck. Oh, wait, Jordan's on the Avabrook Mayor version. Yeah, he was just trying to kill people now. Yeah. It's like Grixis and <clears throat> Shadow, like, we're just trying to kill people. Maybe they'll rotate out of using Meddling Mage then? You think they, they'd ever do that? No, my card's too good. Is there another card or another human lord out there that's, like, low cost? Uh, Banesh Marshall, that's a three drop. Uh, that's true. But, That'd be cute, but it's triple white. I mean, I guess actually it wouldn't matter because you have ninety percent of your lands are like produce any color for humans. Humans, yeah. Metallic mimic isn't really a lord though. Metallic mimic is just gives counters, and like they have to like come in after the lord. Yeah, like it, after the mimic, not yeah. like they can't already be in play. Yeah, metallic mimic is. I wouldn't really consider a lord. Uh, the other one, the automaton or whatever it is, the three mana one. No. That that one's a lord. You're a lord. But it's kind of bad, because it's three mana, and it's like, not a good card. <laughs> hey, Luke. What? You're not a good card. Verdant Automaton, right? I don't think... Oh, God. I don't think that's what it's called. Phantasmal Image. Take four. Yeah, this, this Luke side is pretty good right now. I don't think uh, Jordan even really has too many things that can uh, um, deal with this kind of board. Uh, we get a Thali as lieutenant, though. That's cute. Hey, you, you know what? You know what Phil Swift would say here? What? That's a lot of damage! 
Yeah, that is a lot of damage. Oh, wait, he so has we a have, phantasmal image. Yeah, it's copying the Supreme Phantom. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven on the swing next turn on Luke's side, which I don't know. I can't. He's holding his cards in such a way that I cannot see them. Copy. So adaptive automaton. That's that's the one. Hey, you know what feels so gloriously here? I'm, that's a lot of damage. I'm a decent card. I cost nine though. Cap of pride. That's a lot of damage right here, boys. This, if if Luke doesn't have Luke. lethal, then I think Jordan might be able to pull so this like, one out. Luke has a pass, but like, so even if you pass response to um, Phantasmal Aiders, like Jordan is copy mayor. Yeah. So like, he's at a lose lose right here. Yeah. If jo if Luke can't work up lethal here, I think Jordan might be able to work up lethal on his side. So, that Supreme Phantom is going to be a 2-4. Or that Phantasmal image yeah. copying the Supreme Phantom is going to be a 2-4. Wait, what, really? <laughs> Someone told me I was channeling Bob Fields on stream the other day. <laughs> so, they, one, they know who I am, and two, they, well, they watch you and us. Channeling Bob Fields. Were you yelling like a madman about nonsense? Were you playing Teamer? That's yeah. how you channel Bob Fields. She mainly plays Arena, so... Oh. You can play Teamer in Arena. There's it's Teamer Ramp. Good. Robbie Plains. It was a little weird, but mostly... Do you have all your streams broadcast, Cat Navis? Because I may try and find that clip. There was, there was yelling. yelling. Stop being Bob Fields! All right, we're going to pat the mayor of Averbrook. Yeah, I know uh, uh, Farrell calls me Burt Perry. Burt Perry. <laughs> yeah. Rick, Rick James. Yeah, yeah, I can watch. I want to text Robert's, Farrell right now. Robert's basically Rick James. Text. Uh, so send me a picture. Jordan has a meddling mage and a land in hand, I believe. So Jordan not sitting super pretty. Like I said, though, if Luke doesn't have lethal here, Jordan might be able to get there. Uh, and I think that might be lethal. Uh, uh, three. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Three, six. That's a lot of damage. Uh, three, six, ten, eleven. 11. That's Xaxes. Yep, Luke has Xaxes. Can someone just, like, post Flex Seal right here? Flex uh, I think I've saved it. If not, I'll find a highlight with it. I, I'm going to watch that tonight, Cat Navis, because I don't have class tomorrow. But pull up the stream on the computer so we can watch it if she posts it in chat. Um, I will get my laptop out and be faster. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, this laptop back here is kind of poopy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, we can't deny that, can we? <laughs> no. That's a lot of damage. Dude, I'm obsessed with, right. like, Phil Swift. I know you are. Dude... All right, so we see, looking at Dramoka's command, or is that Anafenza? That's Anafenza. Yeah, um, you can just bring a Gravedigger's Cage because it stops Coco. Yeah, I think Gravedigger's Cage is generally right. Coco, 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 Coco. I want to find a two-card infinite mill combo and then throw it in a Soul Tide Grixis Esper Shell as an alternate win con. Heartless Summonings and Murder Retriever. Yep. Have, have a murder retriever in your graveyard, have a heartless summonings out, and you and a, uh, what's the one mana card from Kaladesh? Altar of the Brood. Altar of the Brood. Well, you gotta have double, uh, two mirror retrievers. Yeah. Yeah, have a murder retriever in your graveyard, a murder retriever in your so you hand. Gotta, this is like three different cards, but you need four cards. Yeah. Don't listen to Luke over here. I guess it's technically a three card, four card combo, but it's kind of, kind of a two card. Um, there's two card infinite combos in Pilly Pally and... Yeah. What's the one blue blue lord? There's a one blue blue lord that gives other blue creatures plus one plus one, and I can't remember what it's called. But just look up Pilly Pally combo, and that's an infinite mana combo. And you yes. can, from there, from there, you can uh, figure out a infinite mill combo. Hey, pull that up, Street Runner. People need to see that great card. Uh, you could alter of the brood. This is my idol with this is Soul my hero. Tie. With Soul Tie Y or no, you can play Esper uh, Sword, Esper Thopter Sword, 
and then play Alter the Brood in it. Yep. And play KCI in your list. And that's an infinite mana, infinite mana, infinite life, infinite mill. And it's also cute. But these are all more than two cards, granted. Yeah. So if you don't know me and my background of Phil Swift, I fell in love with Phil Swift when I saw the flex tape ad. You mean when JonTron showed everyone the flex tape ad? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not denying that, am I? JonTron's dead now, so... He is? No. <laughs> he just doesn't post ever, which yeah. makes everyone sad. I, I like... He needed to post one thing in his life. It was flex tape. Who TF is John Tron? John Tron is a YouTuber who makes some dank memes and has a really awesome bird. He has a cute little Quaker and is my favorite thing. I follow it on Instagram. <laughs> it's so adorable. You don't use your you, do you only use that Instagram to follow that bird? I only use Instagram to follow birds. I, I follow no, I follow like so many bird pages on Instagram, <laughs> it's not even funny. Like, I think I follow, like, 300 people on Instagram and, like, 200. follow me, I think. Probably about 250 of them are bird pages of some sort. I think you follow me. My girlfriend gets really mad when I'm scrolling through my Instagram. So I just go, hey, look at this Look at this really cute bird. Hey, look at this bird. It has a jacket on. <laughs> what? <laughs> good job. Good job, Scott. Scott's in the background looking up. Uh, there's one with Demir Gilmage. Yeah, you're right, Matt. That, that's one actually I, fr I forgot about. Yeah, Gilmage. Demir Gilmage and Minecrank. Yep. That's absolutely adorable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know Phil Swift is adorable. <laughs> it is spicy. I used to play it. That was like one of the, one of the first like actual modern decks I built. I wouldn't call that an actual modern deck. I'm sorry, Fluke. Well, it was still budget because it was like Gilmage, Minecrank. Taplands. <laughs> Got it in Taplands. Gut shot. Who wants some ASMR? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dusk Mantle Game Mage. That's, yeah. that's the one. Okay, I think I said Demir. Yeah, for yeah some Demi like, yeah. Uh, you can play Muddled Mixture, Transmute, and uh, Combo Pieces. Yeah, that's what I did. ASMR. It was cute. Top Deck Production Edition. <laughs> and you play. I played four Ghost Quarters so that way I could play Guild Mage, activate Guild Mage, and then Ghost Quarter them, and it triggers it. I wonder if he's I played. I also played four Gut Shot so that way I could uh, get the Demir yeah. oh, Guild Mage God. trigger going really four. easy. Hey, this is one of the ways uh, Jordan can win here. I have a combo, kind of. Cost nine mana. It's called Tooth and Nail. Tooth and Nail? Yeah. Dude, you know, you what know what's the best uh, cards to get with Tooth and Nail? What? Xenagos and Emrakul? No. Crater Hoof and Crater Hoof. <laughs> Crater Hoof so, feels so great. Any, anything that gives hasty creatures in Crater Hoof. So, you, doesn't Crater Hoof give haste? Crater Hoof only gives trample, doesn't give haste. Alright. So, you know, you get. Um, Crater Hoof has haste itself, yes. No, no, you get Champion Witch and Crater Hoof Behemoth, and you have Anger in hand. So, you put in Champion Witch and Anger. You put in Champion Witch? Oh, Anger the card. I thought you meant Anger of the Gods. I was super confused. Crater of an Avenger of Zendikar. Yeah, that one's fun. You need Anger in the graveyard? Yeah. You pitch it in with Champion You pitch Anger in with Champion Witch. We're talking about the spiciest combos here tonight, everybody. And you know, what that mean? You, you know what that means, though? What does it mean? You're playing Teamer. Uh, looks like Jordan... Wait, did Jordan just play a Gaddic Teague? I guess we're trying to... Ki Keep Worship. company off the table. Worship and company. Yeah. Uh, LOL nerds. Hey. Hey, Cat Nabis. Any any reason to play Teamer is okay in my book. Luke can confirm here. I was thinking of it as an alternate win con, but that's nice. Yeah. You could play it. Still play it as a an alternate hey, win con. Cat All the Nabis. whispering. We can do ASMR for you guys. We're actually going to be an ASMR stream. For yes. Me. We will get bunch of triggers. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. <laughs> Scott's not. I'm having a very nice time out there. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you next time, everybody. His <laughs> 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 mixer <are> well muted. <laughs> I hate it. 
Mill is a very hard to counter strategy for a lot of decks. Yeah, you're not wrong. I was playing Amulet Titan. I played against Mill, and it was like, well, you milled everything that makes my deck work. So, dab. I'm gonna die. Mm. Right. <laughs> Honestly, oh, really. Go, 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 go. Wait, no, that that spell is not resolved yet. Um, well, I, it can get. Yeah, it, it can get spell quality. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I, yeah, and I think Luke just pointed that out. Like, it, 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 we hit a phantasmal yeah. image, so we are indeed going to probably spell quality this. Uh, Drogs, just to show Jordan who's boss. Yeah. Well, we got Drog School Captain, and that's already a Lord, and I don't think there's another Lord. Maybe that's yeah. a Selfless Spirit. No, that's a Supreme Random, and so we can't. Uh, so thankfully, we can't. Um, phantasmal image. Um, Drogskull Captain. Johnny Vengeant has really gone down in modern. Um, it's not as good as it used to be. Um, I remember like doing. It was a lot better. How? Oh, are you talking about Johnny Vengeant? Yeah, dude. Red white of Johnny. That I I like a Johnny Vengeant in a Naya shell personally. I think the Naya like there's a, a few Naya Bloodbraid lists out there that they're Naya company, but instead of company they're on blood braid and um they're pretty cute i think they're fun you guys uh you should definitely play um you want three? what's the enchantment that if you have 200 or more cards in your deck you win the game battle of wits battle of wits you should play battle the battle of wits combo deck where it has every single fetch land every single shock land in the list can you lift up your foot and not be on my cord i'm oh, sorry or Fine. most most of the shock lands, most of the fetch lands, and oh, then yeah. it also has uh, a every single modern legal combo. Basically, you can have gifts on given. Yeah, it had gifts. It has gifts. It has Kiki. It has uh, Sahili Rai. It has uh, Eldritch Evolution, so you can Kiki or Sahili Rai depending on what your board state looks like. Yeah. Um, the list can still. Fun fact: the list can still turn to Sahili Rai combo or turn to Kiki Jiki combo. Uh, Battle Wits is an enchantment, not an instant sorcery. Yeah, Battle Wits is an enchantment. So my high mind does not copy. Yeah, Battle Wits is just uh, if you have two or more cards in your deck, you win the game. Battle Wits is actually a legit thing in MTGO. Uh, I wouldn't call it a legit thing, but it is a thing you can do. It is a th it's a thing you can do in modern or in uh, modern. Oh yeah, it's just you don't actually have to shuffle. It only has to be two hundred, uh, and typically the list only play like two fifty. Um, but there hey. is there is the one little stipulation with modern or with uh, magic decks in real life that you have to be able to shuffle it with two hands. Yeah, you, you can can't, shuffle. You, you can't um, use an automated shuffler. You have to be able to. So yeah. you have to ha either have really big hands or be really dexterous. I think Jordan's dead. I think Jordan's really dead. This is hey, a. Hey, hey, hey. Phil Swift would say. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's... I, I don't understand what you're saying now. Cryptic Command, one time. Cryptic Command dealer. <laughs> well, uh, did you just say Cryptic Command from Jordan? Yeah. Yes, because we're going to cast that off our Cavern of Souls. It will our... be counterable. we <laughs> <laughs> die in a hole. Dad jokes. Uh, you can shuffle it in parts... Can't, is that what it, what one of the things is? I thought you had to be able to shuffle the entire deck as one was like actually part of Magic rules. Maybe that's just like what I heard as a tabletop Magic gamer, and that's what we followed. Luke is like thinking like, what does Jordan have? Um, settle the wreckage. And <laughs> with his cavern of souls. Oh wait, never mind. I thought I thought he I, he had a uh, one of the green white lands. Oh wait, he has noble hierarchy. Did he just play that? No, oh, he, wait, did. no he didn't he, just uh, play that. Yeah, no, he could have settled the wreckage. Noble Hierarch and Plains. Um, that's how it works. I don't know how many of this works. Hey, I don't know. I just say stuff that I remember playing during Tabletop Magic. Uh, we um, need, like, a Banefire. What if you are playing versus Tiny Trump and he can't shuffle your deck? We need, like... <laughs> His tiny hands. We need, like, um... No, wait, you know what, um, wait, no, he can't even, um... We're gonna... I would say, maybe we can overload Cyclonic Rift. <sighs> what are you, are you talking about Jordan? Yeah, so, I, he almost, he actually could, if he had one less Ancient Ziggurat in a different land. Good old Ancient Ziggurat. I was saying, I'm still sticking with Settle the Wreckage, man. 
Dude, I'm going with Agent Ziggler right now, dude. <laughs> Wait, was he just about to attack? I mean, I guess... I think he's just dead. You have to, but... He's just dead, dude. He's dead. Like, you're gonna attack into a... Four... Five... Jordan's like, I'm dead, right? Yeah, Luke. Luke's like, yeah, you are, nerd. You're dead. And he didn't even leave up mana to bluff settle the wreckage. What a bad player. He can't, can't, he can't cast it. He, I'm at least I'm being like... Actually, you could cast it because he a, can cast it. Oh if yeah! If you would have left up man, if you would have used the two ancient ziggurats well, and another land, in and then kept up the planes. Uh, worship! Don't you, if Luke cast. Out of what's quad sleeved in this graded card shells fight me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta yeah. love quad sleeve players. All right, that's it for round two. That's it for round two. Uh, do you want to, Scott? Do you want to see if we can get a second game going? We probably won't. Probably not, but we can try our best. Mm -hmm. Uh, three tables in game. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Just go see if they're anywhere near done, and we'll, we'll sit back here and talk for a second. So, I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. No, you're not supposed to come back oh, here yet. No. I didn't have the sign. He doesn't have the sign. I thought he was supposed to hold the sign at all times. Dude, I am. He's a bad person. I'm relaxing, like my dude. ears under my antlers. Gotta have one or second best try. You know, no, we all know the first best try is Lord Goyf. Uh, many ears. All right, get one of your commentators. Play talk. We want more MTG. Do you want to go out there and play? All right, fine. Yeah, I'll get a rack from Justin. All right, we'll be out there we'll playing. We'll go out there and play. All right. Do you want to just put it on on cam out there? Yeah. No, we'll go out. Yeah, we want to go out there and play. I want to get a rack from Justin. Case. Yeah, uh, not sure it's the case at all either. I think Andy actually has quite a few lands of his own in his hand, however, but I don't know. He has a one one right now. One one's better than nothing. Let's see. His hand is land. Uh, no, I think he has a captain too, so he can actually make this clock a lot faster and give his uh, spirit hexproof to avoid any burns shenanigans. Zach stepped out. Another land for Andy. Alright, Andy has three lands in hand, a captain, and a spell queller. Or, sorry, not a captain, the, um, Phantasmal. Oh, oh, shoot, what is it called? Mazda, or, what's the two mana Mazda one from Supreme, Core 19? Supreme Phantom. That one. The one that's in your screen right now. Yeah, yeah that one. Hey, alright, alright, my bad. It was, it was covered up, but yeah, alright. Supreme Phantom. That one. We're not playing it, so we're holding up spell queller here. I think Zach probably knows that. And he draws another land. Not good at all. And he's just going to pass it back. Uh, Andy might take the... Uh, no, he's not going to flash it in, just for value, but another spell caller off the top is what it looks like. Tap land, get in there for one. Eventually that'll... I mean, that, that one point of damage each turn adds up. Yeah, Zach saying, I guess your hand's not any better, but actually, little as he know, we got some flashy yep. quellers. Both these players are not not the happiest right now. I, I think Andy's pretty happy. I mean, he's just not playing with spell callers because he's trying to counter them. He's going to take a good end of 13, which is interesting. I feel he, like he's okay with that. He doesn't care about the spell. Yeah, I mean, but. Zach still has two mana open. Yeah. All right, Zach, Zach just throws way too many lands. He just drew, like, an actual another one, so. he Yeah, so out of four draws, he's drawn four lands. Yep. He's conceding, I think. Yep. Not the best of luck there from Zach. So that's what he kept. Drew a million lands. And he's going to scoop it up. Like, oh, they end up doing it. Yeah, Andy yeah. Clark able to uh, win this match. Two uh, games and one. Very, very exciting there, opening but... game. And ever since there, it was a little odd yeah. with both players in game two. And a little unfortunate with Zach Straws in game three. Yep. That'll do it for tonight. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, thank you all to the uh, well over 100 people. Uh, yes, yeah, so we had 188 right Hello, everybody. Welcome to the fourth and final round of Tuesday Night Modern here at Top Deck Productions. I'd like to thank all 130 plus of you for tuning in and making us a part of your Tuesday night. I'm Jake Valentine, Matthew Midier, uh, not in the booth currently. I'm not sure what he's doing. We were jamming some standard earlier. I was playing Amazon. He was playing Green Black Dredge.
ish thing. He was throwing pretty well. That came back at looks explosive. But uh, for more on the standard, tune in tomorrow at 6. Right now we got some modern action. Victor Curse on the left with Grixis Death Shadow. Face off against Zach Creamer on the right and his trusty burn deck. We appreciate you uh, for having us always on and for your support, Zach. We really appreciate you for that. We appreciate each and every one of you that tune in. And don't forget. Maybe we're going boy! Can you get the untap right here?
actually not dead. What? Actually, no, I might be dead just because of the eat. Yeah, just because of this. this. Did you have nothing in hand? I could get double rack and point out on one card. Like, I triple double trick and infliction. I was like, I don't think I'm alive here. Hey, that's the time warp I gave you. That was one. Because I was like, I don't think I can win here. Bad. Six bad. No, no, no. I, I, think, I think you just killed me that just because how many cards you're drawing is Yeah, that's why I was I was like, I think I just killed so I'm drawing four, so I have eight cards. And you draw three. I draw three Jays. That's why I, that's why I see in the back I'm like, Jays frame is like, that means I get to build six and get top of it. At least. Done. At least. On the draw. <laughs> Got it. Hopefully, I have turn one discard actually. That's more damage!
I'm trying to get the French mind resolved.
Take your up. No, you're not. 